What is up guys, Sean Cookie here and for you guys today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary and today's gameplay I'm bringing you is a KM strike on the map Overlord using the SC 2010 and um, with this gameplay I kind of want to do, uh, you know, do a new series, uh, KM strike with every gun. You know, a lot of people are doing the 25 days of Christmas or like 12 days of Christmas and, you know, uploading KM strikes, you know, for 25 days straight. But I thought it, I would do it in a more unique way and actually just start doing a new series um, that I used to do back in Mario 3, which I, I know a lot of other commentators have done this before. Um, I just think that it would be unique for me and that I, you know... Doing this series, I actually get to use every single gun, or try to mostly use every single gun in the game, and it's it's really fun for me. I, I really do enjoy using each and, each and every gun, learning what class setups I'm good with, um, even figuring out if I'm actually good with the gun at all or not, and um, it's, a, it's a fun experience. So I, w I wanted to start the series again, you know, try to get back to YouTube, and I keep on saying this, like, I wanted to start videos. I, you know, I talked to my friends, uh my friend pineapples and you know i gotta stop saying i want to try to do this I, I just gotta do it i just gotta get back into youtube like i used to do back in Mario three and i kind of realized it with just doing this commentary is that i really don't know how to commentate anymore like i used to just you know sit down and just do a commentary and be happy with it like sometimes i'll do i would actually do like commentaries in the past after not doing a commentary uh, in a while and just be like no that's that's not even good because what i try to do is i try to make the most entertaining game um try to get the most entertaining gameplay and then just try to bring you the most medi mediocre commentary i can i guess i could say and not say like and every time or um and if i do that uh i don't even know if i have done that in this commentary already but if i do that i'm sorry for that i'm you know i'm just trying to get back into swing of things and you know try to grow this channel and just you know interact with other people so what i'm going to be talking about today is you know what i like about this gun and I'm going to do this with every series. And then talk about the real life gun like I used to do back in the day. Which uh, I thought was kind of interesting. You know, you learn about the real life gun uh, while you're just listening to a regular commentary. Which I mostly get all my information just from the internet. So it's not like I'm like getting like this top secret information. I'm just, you know, just telling you what it, the gun is and how it works in the real world. So the SC-2010 is a pretty good weapon. I personally like it. It's one of the better assault rifles. And in this game, I'm using it with silencer and grip, which uh, is two good attachments for this gun. Uh, but the thing is, the iron sight is just, you know, it's incredibly hard to use with it. Uh, so sometimes I, I could suggest just using just red dot or any of the other sights because those are good as well if you just like to use them. Um, it's all about personal um, preference, I guess. Um, I think I do well with the silencer and grip. Um, it's a low to medium recoil gun, so putting grip on it for me it just makes it a lot easier, especially with the iron sight. Uh, but if you think you can control the recoil and just putting a red dot sight is a lot better for you. And even taking the silencer off, it's a pretty good weapon uh, without the silencer. I'm just using the silencer just to make it a little bit easier getting these gameplays, you know. Um, so yeah. Okay, so on to the real life weapon. There is three variations of the SC. Um, SC-2005, SC-2009, and SC-2010, and all did have different reasons why they came out. So the first uh, reason the SC-2005 uh, first came out was pretty much a Peruvian-designed uh, proposed upgrade for the FAL, which the FAL is a light um, automatic rifle, and this Peruvian company decided that, they, that there needed to be an upgrade for this rifle. And uh, is used uh, by Peruvian Army Forces, uh, NATO, and the U.S. Armed Forces. So, um, also after that, um, they came out with later models. Um, the SC-2009, which is a modular weapon system upgrade. And then the SC-2010, which is a high-powered modular weapon system upgrade. So, um, the latest version of this weapon is in this game. And um, this is why this gun looks very similar to the FAL. And um, it brings a very strong resemblance and is pretty much just based off of that weapon. And the fact that they brought it into the game is uh, pretty interesting and pretty cool. So this gameplay commentary is coming to an end now. Um, I pretty much gave you guys some information, what I liked about it and what it does, what is it, the gun in real life, what it is. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and I hope you enjoy this series, and I hope I can can continue the series on word. But uh, there's the KEM. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys could, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do what you got to do, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, guys.